Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment on the bench. Here today I'm going to tie you up a real pretty little fly. I always like tying these uh, royal patterns here. It's a royal trude. It's a fly that all not only looks good, but it fish like eating it too. It's a, it's a great fly. And uh, let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. I'm going to be using a 2x long. This is a DHE 1280 size 12. You can tie this in a few sizes. It works great. I'm going to be using some brown 8 dot thread. The tail, I'm going to be using some uh, golden pheasant tippets. The uh, body, I'm going to be using some peacock curl. This is, uh, I got the bright green here. You can use regular as well. Green just gives a little more coloration. Uh, the wing, I'm going to be using some calf tail. I like using the more straighter tail down the bottom. And under the, the under wing, what I add on here is this is some UV, uh, very soft uh, crystal flash, very fine. And it's a UV, so it's uh, it adds a lot to the patterns you can see on there. The uh, I'm going to be using some brown grizzly on the front for the uh, thorax. The uh, I'm going to be using some red holographic tinsel instead of the floss. I change that out, and then I use a little extra small uh, wire just to uh, reinforce my pattern, give a little extra strength so that. Don't, don't chew up that peacock curl because you'll get a lot of fish chewing on this one. It's a, it's a great pattern. Not only looks good to the angler, but it looks good to the fish. A lot of fun to tie these too. They're, they're pretty fly. Some flies I tie are pretty, pretty glum looking, gobs of hair and so forth. And this is, it's nice to tie something a little more attractive. Start the, um, thread on there and then we'll come in with some of these uh, golden pheasant tippets. Keep the everything nice and straight. Soft turn there. I want to come up just a little bit more. I want to tie it right in by the band. That second band showing if it flares a little bit that's that's good. Like that gives a nice appearance. Then we'll take in our little bit of our silver wire. This is extra small. You can use fine or extra fine as well. Tie that along. The tie-in point. Then I'll come in with some of this green peacock curl. I was really excited years ago when they come out with dyed peacock curl. I thought that was one of the greatest inventions ever. I just tie my peacock curl always in by the tips, or generally, it depends on the pattern, but that way when I handle the peacock curl, it gets a little buggier. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a buck section there, tie it off, I'll just take the butts forward. Then I'll come in with a little bit of the holographic red. This really shows up as you know any of you that use holographic tinsel. This is amazing stuff. They didn't have that years ago. They used a red floss, of course, still works. And I'll get my thread just ahead. bit of a next section of our peacock. I could have made a peacock curl rope. I want to get the hurl standing out as much as I can. Um, that way with the wire this will give it the strength. I just reverse wrap that. Really fine wire like that you won't lose any of the the buoyancy at all. 
Okay, then we'll uh, just grab a little bit of our crystal flash. Tie that in underneath the tail, the wing, I should say, the wing goes right to the end of the tail. And that really, really is nice to see. You can see that from all over. That's a nice accent for the calf tail. So you can just trick these old patterns out a little bit with new materials and a really game changer. I've cut off my uh, calf tail. Now I'm taking the bottom hairs out. When, you, when you're working with calf tail along in the bottom of the tail, the fibers aren't going to be as crinkly and they're going to actually, you can get them in a stacker. When you clean the bottom out, clean the bottom out good and then put them in a hair stacker and that should uh, get, get your tips lined up pretty good. And we'll come in and put that right to the end of the tail. Get some good turns on there. And then I'll cut the butts off at an angle. Some good turns. Cover that all up with my brown thread. Make sure all the wings up top, nubs on the side. Looks good. And then we'll just come in with our brown. There's a Coachman Brown on this. It's actually a dyed brown or Coachman Brown Grizzly. A lot of these uh, fine saddles you can, dry fly saddles, you can buy them in smaller packs. You don't have to buy half saddles or full saddles. You can buy tens feathers in a pack. Each feather will do, depends on the fly, half a dozen flies or more. Cut in, come in with my whip finish. If you want, you can also use these little hackle guards to show you here. That kind of keeps everything out of the way for you. <clears throat> then you want to use the hack Thompson style whip finish. Matterellies don't seem to work too good on the, with these hackle, hackle gauge or the hackle guard. Just a cheap little tool there. You can buy a set of three for, you know, a couple bucks. Make your job kind of nice and easy around the head, makes it nice and clean. So there it is, that's a Royal Trude. A little tricked out with the UV underneath there. And a uh, great fly, you're going to have fun tying this one, it looks pretty. And you can also catch a lot of fish with this one. Just about any species of trout would be happy to eat that. So we'd like to thank you again for catching us this time on uh, Sport Fishing on the Fly. Make sure you get tuned in there to the uh, website and watch some of those seminars and tying videos. There's hundreds of flies on there and, and TV shows for 25 years. Uh, lots of information on there. If you're new or old to the fly fishing sport, you're going to really enjoy that. So thanks again for watching. We'll catch you again real soon.